Gage, Genak here again <laughs> with another cast of two pro gamers, and it will be uh, Acer Nurcho against FR Kuti, who I don't have heard much about. We've got a lot of these things as well because they are so cool. The map is called it's Terminus, I think. And it's probably a GSL map terminus because you have this neutral supply depot that's basically there because you shouldn't have a, have a chance to wall off your opponent's ramp like Toss did in the patch 1.2 as much as they wanted to because they just took two pylons and the cannon and then the sword couldn't expand like forever. Anyway. We see uh, an early probe scout from Kulti. Almost too early, I think. Just to scout the six pool or something. Well, I don't think that's the best thing to do because if you would scout it cross position, you uh, would have been uh, pretty far behind to know if it was the six pool or ten pool or something. Anyway, 14 pool is going down for Nurture. Pretty late, 14 cool, as well. And I don't think this map is pretty. It's pretty usual to do a six pool since it's like one of the biggest map in the whole map pool, like ever. And we see Kulte is taking. Oh, he's taking Maynard Ross from Nurtio's expansion. Holy crap! It's just one four nine five left. And Nurture is trying to expand here, but Kulti is uh, denying it with his probe, just rolling around. That pylon won't be blocking it for some time. So Nurture is... Whoa! He's building six Zerglings. I don't know about that. I guess he just need four. Well, he's cancelling now anyway, so... Damage has been done, just seven, 25 minutes lost, I think it is. I don't want to shake it up. Anyway. Kulti is seeing those six links and he's responding. No, he's really not responding. He's making a cybernetic score and I don't know why it's not walling off. This is pretty dumb, I think. Either you should have walled off here or you should have walled off your ramp here. This is not a tight walling, like, ever. Or not sure hasn't scouted it yet, I think. Oh, yes, I have. Well, I don't need to watch this now. A hatchery is going down, and a stalker is building now. So, two sellers and a stalker. It looks like to be a more aggressive build. Otherwise, you should have gotten sentry first. Or, or second, just when your cybernetic score is going up. But he's opting for a stalker to begin with. And no, she just annoying and have killing two drones, three drones, so three drone kills for Nacho and he has also saving three links. So uh, minimum losses for uh, Nacho there. Who has the awesome micro with his 200 average APM. He's not playing as awesome as So the wall up is going down now with two gateways. Uh, again, this is not the optimal thing you want to do, you see Sterlings, more Sterlings coming out as well because he scouted the Stalker and two Cellos instead of a Sentry. Well, again, to this part. He's, he's building all his tech structures in the front when Nurture was already scouted these two, so it's just seeing it's a free gate. It's pretty obvious what's going to happen then for a good player as Nurture, so... Well, I, I don't know about that decision. Well, Kulti just pu pushing out to make Nurture build some extra links and not drones when uh, the third player just opting to build some much drones in the beginning as he can because you get much more economy. Economic, like, uh, whatever you, the word is. 
Hello Lucy Nation is going down for cool tea, so you can scout nurture space without needing a robe of seal team. I don't know about that as well. Hallucination is pretty good and it gives you the scouting uh, ability. But I guess a robotics facility is pretty nice to have because you can you can build the mortals, you skip very good against roaches and you can also have an observer in base like all the time. And the only thing a scout well uh, the Zerg could scout the observer is within this building and who is here? Here. Or if he's got a spine the spa fat spore crawlers in his base but he obviously isn't. So it's just building drones now so you can see in the economic ticky tag ad. The income tab, the harvest is for the brief or not you know he's already taking his fur bases pretty much done soon. And the hallucinated Phoenix is almost dead because of the Queen's massive damage with their 7 rage. So all the gas has been, been taking from Nurture, he's starting to spread his creep as well, so it pretty much looks like he got this game. And very early third for the Protoss player as well, just having 4 gateways on 2 bases. Yes, he's pretty nervous against for playing against Nurture. So another hallucinated Phoenix is going down. I really don't think that's necessary for a Protoss to scout as much because there's pretty much not... Yeah, he has seen everything already. However, you should scout as often as you could because there's like no point not to do it. So it's just seeing a lot of drones and he... I guess he knows he's pretty much behind right now. You see the income tab. Yeah, he speaks for himself. No, she has the best income in the whole motherfucking world. So he's just building links now. He's gonna take up Spire. I don't know where Spire is. It's in the station bit there. Well, he's hiding the Spire over here. Oh, nice. It's kind of sneak of him. So building an infestation pit and the hidden spire. So I guess he will go in spire to begin with. And then taking two uh, taking two infestors later on. A nice tech switch for him. Now the robotics facility is going up pretty late for the Protoss player who's just trying to play a catch up game. And with that Chrono Boost you can get a lot of probes out, so he's doing it quite alright. Link is going down, as well as uh, Protoss Ground Armor level 1, so we'll have 1-1 one, one units soon. And Nurture will be at 1-0 maybe? No, 0-0. Zero, zero. Now we're seeing the upgrades and the 11 Mutant disc is building. It's kind of a lot. This Mutant disc will give him like a hell lot of map control and the Protoss player won't be able to push out as you can see he's not ready for this at all he just got well three stalkers and five sentries and sentries is not the good anti-air against 11 mutas as well as uh, four stalkers isn't as good as you would have hoped for as well so we can see he's taking down the structural debris and taking a hidden base up in the north position and Immutus is going up to the main and Lynx will probably take down these rocks with and here's the well played good game and that was a pretty boring game well Nurture's force is just killing off everything and with Nurture not even in the game hmm. strange I didn't know that. It's, it's Mori. Mori's killing everything. So... Uh, what should the Protoss player have done? If he says this really early third, I think he should have pushed earlier to make something happen at least. 
not it's not the best game to play a catch up game even without some forces and well it wasn't the best deal to not have scout and the the mutalisks but yeah I don't know and getting blink with just four stalkers there's you, you should have more use of it like he should have more stalkers if he's going blink there's no need to get an upgrade as early as then well not sure it's OP like we always know so that's the pro game for today and we're quitting with a lot of spine crawlers! Yay! Peace!